Welcome back heroes for some more Stanley Parable. So for this playthrough, I think what my goal is going to be is I want to see how much I can annoy him. The narrator that is. I noticed he seemed to react to something before. Kind of curious. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Nope. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Really? Okay. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? What? No, that's, no, no, that's, no. that's an I achievement. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Five, six, seven. Hmm. Hmm. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps uh. 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost <laughs> certainly 50. Okay, 50. I, I, I don't think I'm really annoying him, but I kind of want to see what's down this path. It's curious. Yeah, 50 clicks. D d no, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Okay. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? 417. Nope, I'm going to do this one. Yep. Open this door. Door open. Door, door, door. Okay. So he said 417. Uh, where am I going to find that? Nope. That, that door doesn't open. 427. 420. Can I get in this door? I don't even remember if I put on achievements. Can I, can I, extra, yep, they're enabled. Four, ah, oh, here we go. I am trying to open the door. Ooh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. But where was 437? <laughs> I started off wanting to annoy him, but apparently what I'm doing is now uh, clicking doors. Uh, four to eight. Where's four three seven? Four two seven. That's me. That's me. Four three seven. Oh. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now <laughs> door four one five. Let's give it ten clicks or so. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Four four one five. Okay. Okay. That's four twenty. So that's four seven four four sixteen. Oh, here we go. Four one five. Now back to door number four three seven. Yeah, four three seven. I don't feel like I'm accomplishing anything. I don't even. I was just trying to annoy him. Uh. I am clicking things. I'm on a desk. Four, wait. Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine? The copy machine? All right. Uh. Back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. <laughs> 417. Uh -huh. Okay. Now go climb on employee 419's desk. <laughs> okay. How, how, how to do this? I need to find his desk and climb on it somehow. Four, four, th four, three, four, four, three, two. This is this is very weird. <laughs> four one nine, huh? Where, oh, here we go. Yes, yeah. this is great. You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. We've almost got it. Now the copy machine do that one again. <laughs> this is like I don't I don't know what to think. Copy machine. Finish it off, Stanley. Five clicks on door four three zero. Yes! We did it! Oh, wow. That felt amazing. <laughs> oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really? <laughs> what were really? you thinking? I don't know. Open. Open. Open the door. Open the door. I can't open my door. Well, I don't know if that's really uh, annoying him at all. So I think I think at, at this point that's that's all there is. Oh, oh, we'll just uh, we'll turn that off. I am clicking things. Ah. It sounds like I'm typing now. The door's not opening. So is that is that it? Okay, well, uh, if that's not gonna annoy him, I know one other thing that could. Stanley clicked on literally every single door in the office because he doesn't pick up well on cues from his environment. No, I, I have literally clicked every door. Ooh. What? Can I, like, literally click on everything and, like, maybe annoy him? Open the door. Open the door. What else is over here? I am in the clicky clicky mood. I am going to click everything. Ooh, boxes. So this game you cannot jump. I I, I got an achieve for that. That was that was, that was kind of amusing. Ooh. Underboxes. Am I annoying you yet? Oh. Ah, <laughs> the door opens and closes. That okay? Is that li literally the only door that did that? Can I do it to this door? Aha! Are you annoyed yet? I, I, I don't know if I'm really annoying him. I'm just clicking on everything. Coffee! Coffee! It's still spilled. Yep. Nope. Nada. Clicky, clicky, clicky. No. I don't want. I don't want to. I don't want to go there. That's the decision. I want to see what else I could do. Huh? There's a room in there. Can I open this door. <laughs> Door. Door's not opening. It's not doing it. Okay, I'm starting to get bored of this. This is this is not not very amusing. So I have tested all these doors, and one of them got the achievement thingy. So whatevs. Even though I didn't get an achievement, you dirty bastard. Okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Can I can I close the door? No. I uh, know the door's closed. Okay, so I'm gonna go. Actually, I'm gonna go to the. Uh, this was not lounge the correct first. way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. <laughs> Yep, we're going to admire the lounge. Why? Because I want to. 
And I'm seeing if there's any other door that opens. Ooh. Ah, yes. Truly a so room worth friend. admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to mm -hmm. spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. I want, I want cola. I want, I want a cola. Give me cola. I want a cola. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really oh, worth it. Ooh, it's a notepad. Does it say anything? No. At this not. point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. A little it's bit. possible that this is why everyone left. <laughs> I want I want a soda. Give me a soda. A dollar twenty five. I'm waiting for more dialogue. But when a long time had passed and there was no more, <laughs> he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. <laughs> you know what? You can shut up. Give me a cola. I want the cola. There's nothing in here. I don't think. Maybe. I haven't clicked down everything. Oh, there's a spark. Come on, you put a vending machine in here, but you, you're not giving me stuff. Can I go back? No. Paintings. Uh, there's a center thing. Can't click on it. No, I am not. Ooh, there's a mug. So, I wonder how long I have to wait for him to actually say something again. Oh, uh, this, this could be this could be some time. I have to add it. Ooh, there is an essay here. Johnny, uh, lounge day. Oh, man, this is so hard to read. Shoot by... I that's so so difficult to read. Maybe, maybe I can find the, find it on the internets. Probably not. <sighs> well, I'm just going to sit down because I don't care about my coworkers. They don't exist. Oh, there's more things in here. Give. Can I have soda? No, I want your stupid expensive soda. It's got to be good. Look, it says cold drinks. Ooh, the clock is working. Tick, tock, tick, tock on the clock. Uh, well, uh, you know, to be honest, this lounge is kind of cruddy. I mean, there's a couple places to sit, but it's like, why you got to close this? And the lighting's kind of dim, and then there's some trash and whatnot. It's, uh, it's not all that great. There's another thing. It's an envelope. He did do a good work on making it feel lived in. That is for sure. Open the door. Are you annoyed yet? Oh, I can left click things. Thought E was the only interaction. I can click the things uh, double the speed. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. It doesn't seem like there's anything else. I want to be a rabbit. Give me soda. You close. Close, you stupid door. So I guess that, uh, that clicking thing that I did before 
I guess people got indication because there's an achievement list. Uh, I really ought to look at that and see what other things we could do with it. Uh, I want to go on because I'm getting bored of this, but I don't know if there's anything. Well, if uh, maybe I'll revisit this bit later. I know there's something else I want to do. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open <laughs> door on his left to get back to business. Okay. So we're going to take the door on the left just because it might get me back to the area I'm thinking of. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Button. Well, here's the question. Does this lead to the broom closet? Because I want the broom closet. I'm detouring, and there is a big red button. I am very curious. Alright, I'm gonna find the broom closet. Nope. Oh. Oh no! Where am I? I don't know where I am. Oh, oh, okay. I know Yet there I'm was at. not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief. Pick. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. How to solve a dispute with co-workers. Resent co-workers for not supporting you more. Yeah, I remember seeing all this. Uh, there's not a way to get up on things or do anything, so... Uh, broom closet! Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he <laughs> turned around and got back on track. Nope. Duct tape. There's gotta be something in here. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason Sit. to still be here. Of course there is. Look at this, this cleaning utensil and broomstick. Where is your mop? It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't <laughs> even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. <laughs> uh, where is your mom? Are you, are you really still in the broom closet? Yep. Standing around doing nothing? Yep. Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. Well, you see, you have no mop in here, and I'm trying to find it. So, you know, where's your mop? You know, you can't have this... You this do realize what? there's no choice or hey, anything in here. Hey, I was explaining here, right? things. If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me, because literally, this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. But I never would have thought to mention it. But it's so cool. It's a broom closet. It's there. It's, it says broom closet Maybe on the thing. Maybe to you, this is somehow its own branching path. Yep. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my <laughs> favorite. <laughs> I hope your friends find this concerning. Uh, except they, you know, they might go into the broom closet themselves. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. Hey. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid hey, he is. That, that or with drug money. Also, Stanley is, is nice. addicted to drugs and hookers. Hey, you know what? That is not nice. It's not called for. I just made well, a little bit of math. Well, a definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got what? to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you Ooh. collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. <laughs> he or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. 
Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming. I'm so playing with the door. And insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. <laughs> All right. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. So he assumes I'm dead at this point. That's that's interesting. Is there anything else? That's, that's a nicely detailed ranch. Wait, 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 wait. So I'm gonna wait a bit to see if he says anything, and if he doesn't, I'm gonna exit the broom closet and re-enter it. <laughs> oh, let's see. It, that'd be funny if he just gets even more pissed off. Huh? Oh. Oh, okay. I can apparently close the door by clicking any part of the wall. Over there. Kind of creeped me out for a second. I thought he closed the door. Um. Doesn't look like he's going to respond, so. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. Yeah. T, you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. You want to bet? You, too? <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Okay. Oh, Is that it, then? Is that, is that all that you can do with the broom closet? <laughs> uh. <laughs> so, of course, make sure to tell everyone Go for the broom closet ending It's your favorite uh, That's going to be a trope of Stanley Parable now, isn't it? <laughs> uh, does it, it really doesn't seem like he's going to say anything else Let's close it Act like I'm going to go on, and then don't. No. Oop. Okay. Well, I think that's all you could do with the broom closet then. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked no. upstairs to his boss's office. Nope. What's down here? <laughs> Firehouse. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in yep. such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. Hmm. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, hmm. why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did yes, doors close automatically behind him wherever and why he are went? all these rooms looking and the same? Matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply yep. repeating? No, I know the Stanley setting. said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. No. But at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! Oh. He yelled. This is all a dream. That's... Oh, okay. What a relief, Stanley felt, to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. Yep, I was he wasn't dreaming. crazy after all. Yeah, that's, uh, that's all. He thought to was. himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I <laughs> may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. Yeah. So he imagined himself flying and began to Whee. gently float above the ground. 
Yeah, imploding. imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Yeah, well. Why is there a voice in my head <sighs> dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Uh, now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. <laughs> I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered <laughs> if this voice bit. spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? I believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself. Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. But I was now, flying just a minute speak ago. These words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a yeah, moment ago? Dad How else would the that. voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, well, if he could just. Game. He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited oh. himself to wake up. Oh. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, <laughs> the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this uh, I didn't want to close my I eyes. wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. <sighs> Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please. Buttons! It's all I want. That's what I've been doing all, the, all this game, pushing the buttons. And my wife, and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. Not I am bad. normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Yeah! No! Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? Silly, Stanley. You are real. Went black. Oh. Yep, it went black. That is a thing that happened. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Ooh, someone else. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered <laughs> her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, <laughs> and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am yeah, sane. normal. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It of course. was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, <laughs> and by extension, the rest of her life. The she had no time life. for this, so it was only a You're moment in control. that she stood there, Everyone else staring you. down at the body. And then she turned and ran. <laughs> Didn't even call the ambulance, you bitch. The end is never the end is never the end. Well, that was that ending, so it looked like clicking all the buttons and whatnot did not quite get anything different. I'm not even sure if I annoyed him enough, although he did seem a little pissed off. Anyways, if you guys like this, leave a like and all that. Uh, remember, no spoilers in the comments. Um, if you do any, yeah, just, uh, uh, you know what, just, yeah, don't, don't do spoilers. Don't spoil it for people. Also, if you haven't played this game, make sure you play it, you know, because... Uh, if you've been watching this and you haven't even played it yet, then you'll miss out on actually experiencing it. And that'd be kind of sad. 
Uh, so, um, you know, it's on Steam, and like like I said before, there is a Gmod version of it, uh, which if you have Gmod, you could always play the uh, Gmod. Uh, so far, all of the endings I've played are pretty much in the Gmod version, just kind of different. This one is, it's, is, I'm definitely glad I bought it. Uh, so, um, yeah, uh, check it out and all that. Um, also, if you're new to this channel, uh, you know, uh, and you want to see more stuff like this, uh, hit the subscribe button, and uh, I'll be sure to, you know, well, uh, by subscribing, you can see all the other stuff as it comes out, and I'll be notified, and all those things, and join the heroes, and stuff, and things, and whatnot. I'm not crazy, obviously, yeah, I'm real. Am I real? Am I real? I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, I'll see you guys next time um, with more Stanley Parable. Take care, and goodbye.